Hello, Super Mobile fans. Happy day to you all. Thanks for your continuous support for this channel. You keep encouraging me to create more videos. Thanks so much. Kindly wash your hands and stay safe. The Techno Pouvoir series has always been known for its good battery life, and the new Pouvoir 4 series takes it a few steps further with a bigger display, the quad cameras, the processor, and of course the battery department especially with the launch of the Pouvoir 4 Pro that comes with a larger 6GB RAM, bigger 128GB storage and faster 18 watts micro USB charging. The Pouvoir 4 series is kind of a worthy upgrade from last year's Pouvoir 3 series in almost all aspects. And so let us find out which of the Pouvoir 4 series is best for you to buy. Starting with the Pouvoir 4. The bigger 7 inches HD Plus water drop LCD display upgrade is actually good because of those that love cinematic multimedia experience with their smartphones. The battery has also been upgraded to a 6000 mAh capacity which will give more screen on time compared to the Pouvoir 3 and unfortunately, we will have to still deal with the slow 10 watt charging but you can always charge overnight if there is electricity. A major upgrade from the Pouvoir 3 are the quad rear cameras. Although it still has a 13 megapixel camera lens, but it now has a bigger f1.8 aperture, which will definitely produce clearer images even in low light, especially with the help of the new quad ray flash and dual selfie flash. The new entries are the 2 megapixel macro lens, 2 megapixel depth lens, and the QVGA low light lens. These are good additions from the Pouvoir 3. It still has the same 8 megapixel selfie camera lens. The big but small upgrade in the processor is good because the 12nm Helio A22 Qualcomm chipset in the Pouvoir 4 is about 30% better in performance than the 28 nanometer MediaTek 6739 Qualcomm processor in the Pouvoir 3. Also, the 3GB RAM upgrade is good because the additional 1GB RAM will go a long way in giving the Pouvoir 4 a smoother and faster performance, especially with the Android 10 and iOS 6.1 loads. The Pouvoir 4 still retains the 32GB storage, which is still a good budget size for now. The Pouvoir 4 Pro on the other hand is the big boy in the house. With its large 6GB RAM and expansive 128GB storage, which is more than enough to enjoy a faster experience with the Android 10 software and iOS 6.1 user interface upgrades. It also has the bigger immersive 7 inches HD Plus LCD display which gives a cinematic entertainment when consuming media content. But why will Techno remove the vibrant and gorgeous AMOLED HD Plus display, which could have further increased the monster battery lifetime? Techno is still moving on with the Helio P22 Octa-Core processor, but people are expecting better and if others are doing it, then I believe Techno can do it too. Maybe next year, fingers crossed. Like the Pouvoir 4, the Pouvoir 4 Pro also has a large 6000 mAh battery which is same as the Pouvoir 3 Plus, but the good news is that it has a faster 18 watt charging, which is better. And the bad news is that it uses a micro USB port. Another important upgrade are the quad rear cameras, which adds a closer 5 megapixel macro lens, but cuts out the much needed ultra wide angle lens. The 16 megapixel camera lens at the front with dual flash and back with quad flash are good improvements in the camera department and so you are not just getting a good battery life but also good photography life. It is quite disappointing that the prices of smartphones in Nigeria are getting bad every day due to this pandemic. Here is what the prices of the Pouvoir 4 series should have been compared to what they are now. I hope Techno does their best to keep the prices low. In conclusion, there will be a good upgrade in the camera performance of both smartphones thanks to Techno's improved camera software. But we'll love the ultra wide angle lens to come back. Another thing I like is the inclusion of dual stereo speakers, which from experience is pretty loud and clear. It seems Techno wants to stick with HD Plus screen in the Pouvoir series, but at least let it be an AMOLED HD Plus display instead, like in the Pouvoir 3 Plus. Also, I appreciate the 18 watts fast charging in the Pouvoir 4 Pro, but as opposed to the micro USB, the USB Type-C is more convenient, more efficient and allows faster data transfers. I commend Techno for these elegant designs and colors in the Pouvoir 4 series. 
would love to see the Pulver 4L version with a 6000 mAh battery at a price below 35,000 Naira for the lower budget market and for our old school parents. I would also love to know what you guys think about the Pulver 4 series and also let me know which of the Pulver 4 series you are buying. The most important upgrades to me are the 6000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging, the 6 GB RAM with 128 GB storage and the quad rear cameras. Thanks so much for watching. Kindly subscribe and turn post notification on to be the first to see my next video. Talk to you soon. Remain humble. Stay safe. Bye.